Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this super adorable octopus plushie. I'll also leave a link to my Etsy where you can purchase the written pattern for this plushie or a finished product of it. So for the supplies you'll need, we've got some Sweet Snuggles light yarn. You can use any other kind of yarn, but it'll just change the size of the finished product depending on whether it's thinner or thicker. With this yarn, I'm using a six millimeter crochet hook, but if you're using a different kind of yarn, just use whatever hook works with that one. Um, just some polyester stuffing. These are 10 millimeter safety eyes. I've just got a darning needle here to sew the tail in. Some hot glue, I like to use these to secure the safety eyes in. You definitely don't have to use it. I definitely recommend a stitch marker and just some scissors for snipping the ends of your yarn. If you are new, please do make sure to subscribe. Check out my other social medias if you can. This is a beginner tutorial, but if you do have any questions, please make sure to leave them down in the description. I do not mind answering them at all. So without further ado, let's move on to the tutorial. We're gonna start this off with a magic ring. So to do that, hold it like this, cross it, and then put it back over our fingers. We're gonna go underneath the first one and grab this. We're gonna twist it around as we pull it through. And then, oops, just chain one. So now I've got the beginning of our magic ring. We're gonna place our six single crochets into this. We're going in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops. Going back in for two. Three, four, five, and six. So now that we've got our six crochets in here, we can take this little tail and we're just going to pull it shut like this. And I've got a little circle. Now we're gonna place our first single crochet into the next row, and this row we're gonna increase in each single crochet. So let's place our first one. And now is when I'd recommend putting your stitch marker in so you can keep track. And we'll finish this increase by placing another single crochet into that same stitch that we placed the other one in. Now moving on to the next one. We're gonna pull one single crochet and two single crochet continue this all around so we're going in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two going in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two okay now we're just going to keep going placing two into each one And once you get to the last stitch, we're gonna place our single crochets in here. Now you should have 12 in your round, and that is the end of round two. So we're gonna take our stitch marker out, and we're gonna place our first single crochet. For this round, we are doing single crochet and then increase all the way around. So we'll place our single crochet, and then our stitch marker into that round. So now we're gonna do an increase on the next stitch. So one, two. Now we're gonna go one single crochet and then an increase. One single crochet and now increase. increase, single crochet, and then your last one should be an increase. There we go. So for the next round, we're going to do single crochet, single crochet, increase. So let's take our stitch marker out now and start the first one. So that is a single crochet. Now we're going to do our next 
single crochet and now our increase. Now single crochet, single crochet, increase, single crochet, single crochet. And now the last one should be an increase. You might be noticing a bit of a pattern with that. So now there should be 24 single crochets in your project. So now we're done with increasing. We're just gonna be single crocheting all around. So we can take our stitch marker off and single crochet. Place it back in. So yeah, we're just gonna be placing one single crochet into each of the stitches all around the project. I'll meet you back over. So we're gonna move on to our next row now. And again, single crocheting all the way around. Oops. Let's add our single crochet. Place this guy back in here. And single crochet all around. All right, there we go. So right now I'm actually going to flip my project inside out so we have the good side of our stitches on the outside and we have this little tail on the inside. I'm also going to pull this guy extra tight. This is just to tighten the pull at the end of the, at the start of the project. I'm just gonna thread my darning needle. And now I'm gonna place a little kind of knot in here just so that our little opening at the start of our project from our magic circle um, doesn't open back up. So I'm just making a little knot like that. Again, I'm flipping it back. So we've got this little tail on the inside and we have the good side of our stitches facing outwards. All right, for the start of row eight, we are going to continue single crocheting. So we're going to place our first stitch in and then we're going to keep single crocheting around for row 8. All right, we're at the end of the row now. So now we're gonna start the little legs or tentacles of the octopus. For this row, we're going to be only working in the front loops. So those are gonna be these loops right here. I'll try and show you with my needle here. The one that I've got right now here, this is a front loop and this is a back loop. So we're just only gonna be working in these guys for this one row. I'm just gonna move my little stitch marker into the back loop of this so we know where to start the next row. So on the first one, we're gonna place five half double crochets into this one stitch. So for half double crochet, we're gonna yarn over, go into only this front loop, yarn over, pull through. You should have three loops on your hook now and we're gonna yarn over and pull through all three of those. 
We're gonna do that again four more times for this tentacle. So two, And then you're gonna kinda of wanna push it out so it kinda of puffs upwards. And that's what gonna be your first one. And so now we're going to decrease. So we'll need these front loops. So a decrease is when you take two single crochets on your hook and then you yarn over and pull through both of them, turning them into basically one stitch. And then you're just gonna yarn over and go through these two. So we're gonna do that again. We're gonna yarn over for our half double crochets in the front loop. So one half double crochet, two half double crochet, okay, three half double crochets, four, and five. Now we can decrease, so one, and then go, oop, this can be a little tricky, but go into the next one, pull through both of them, yarn over, pull through. So you might be able to kind of start to see the shape, although it looks a little bit funky right now. We're gonna go again, yarn over. Onto our last leg, so we're going to place our half double crochets. And we're just going to do a little decrease here. Pull down here and there's all of our legs done you can kind of go around and then you just want to kind of pop them almost upwards so you kind of got that little bubble there but at this point we are going to place our little eyes into the into the plushie so i'm just going to grab my two eyes and then two backings i think i'm going to place them almost kind of opposite from the start of our row here start from here one two three four five and then at the bottom here i grab my other one and i'm just kind of it doesn't really matter where but i'm going about six stitches apart so it's going to be one two three four five and I'm kind of halfway in here and then just place it in there and i like the look of this so i'm just going to go in with my backings and place them here and tighten them like that to secure them in and this is where I'm gonna use the hot glue right now okay so my glue guns hot enough now so I'm just gonna kind of flip it 
inside out so I can have easier access to the backings. Taking my glue gun and I'm just kind of going around the little safety washers or backings over here and just really securing them into the yarn. Just a little bit of glue, don't need too much. So once again, I'm just gonna go around the backing over here. And there we go. Just carefully flipping it back. I'm gonna let it dry for a minute or so. It's really starting to come together now and we are on the home stretch. So we're gonna start decreasing now. I'm just gonna get my yarn back on my hook now. And so we're gonna be working into these back loops now. So you can see we kind of marked one before, but basically the ones that we left before, we're working in all of these back loops. So for this row, we are going to single crochet twice and then decrease. So we're gonna jump over to this stitch right here and we're gonna place our single crochet, so yarn over. And then pull through. It's a little awkward on the first one, but then it's back to normal after this one basically. So place your stitch marker back in. I place one more single crochet. gonna decrease so one two then yarn over it's a little tight to pull through these guys but yarn over pull through and then pull through and then go again single crochet single crochet and then decrease oops And then we're gonna do one more little decrease and decrease if we can find the stitch. It's a little hard on this row, but that was the hard part. Now we can just go back to crocheting in both loops. It's a good idea to start stuffing it now, so we're not gonna stuff it completely yet, but we'll kind of add most of it and then add a little bit more each row. Sorry if the lighting changed there, um, just a little time skip. But we're gonna start this row. This row we are going to do single crochet and a decrease. So we get single crochet in both the loops now, but we are still just going to decrease with only the front loops because that's how you do an invisible decrease. So that was our first single crochet and we just put our little stitch marker in there. And I'm just gonna decrease. Whoops. Oh, the phone. Okay, and I'm just going to decrease like this. So single crochet and decrease. Finishing this off with one more decrease. And here we are. So now we're gonna add almost all of our stuffing. I'm gonna stuff it in. You'll need more stuffing than you kind of expect because it just compacts so much. I think that'll be enough. I think we can fit a bit more, just to make sure. It really, you know, keeps its shape well. Okay, I think that'll be good. And there we go. For our final row, we are going to be decreasing all the way around without any single crochets. So let's take our little stitch marker out. And we're gonna place our first decrease here. So put your hook through the first yarn and then through the second. There we go. Now place your stitch marker back in so we can keep track. And we're gonna decrease again. 
So in the front loops, we're grabbing the first front loop, the second one, and then joining them together. Grab the first loop, grab the second loop, pull through to join them together. And our last decrease with these two stitches. We're all done with our crocheting and we're gonna sew this little hole together now. I'm gonna grab my So we're gonna cut the tail now. So now I'm gonna pull this out so I have kind of a big loop. And now I've got my darning needle and my scissors and I'm gonna give myself about this much of a tail. And now we can get rid of this yarn. So we're gonna take our darning needle. We can also get rid of this stitch marker. I'm gonna take the yarn and we're gonna just thread our little darning needle, which is always really tricky with all of the fluff on the end of the yarn. just like to tie a little knot just so it doesn't come loose while I'm sewing. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to go through this loop here and pull it tight. We're going to sew this together. So we're going to go kind of almost like in and out and in and out of all of these little front loops. So I'm going to go in first, and then we're going to go out through this front loop, in through this front loop, out through this one, back in through this one right here. Now we can just pull this and it'll cinch this little piece shut. There we go. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna almost make a little bit of a knot just kind of across here to make sure this doesn't come undone. Just like this. And then we're gonna go through one more time. And before it gets all the way through this time again, I'm going to pass this through the loop and pull it tight. Now we're so close to being done, we are just going to take this tail of the yarn and go back into here and just kind of thread it like this to hide the tail on the inside. Now we can take our scissors and snip this little piece of yarn and that is how you crochet this super adorable fluffy octopus. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and if you did, make sure to let me know. Please make sure to subscribe, like the video, check out my other social medias. Thank you so much for watching, and hope to see you in my next video. Bye!